So, got it all back together. Everything back in. So, I didn't I didn't uh, video this thing coming out, but you got to drop tires, rims, suspension, struts, uh, transmission, engine, rack and pinion, everything out the bottom of this car. And then we separated it out, rebuilt the engine, and that's where uh, I picked up on some videos because the engine was such terrible shape. And uh, so kind of had an interesting rebuild on it. If you're interested in that, check it out. Uh, some Toyota RAV4 2G RFE uh, builds or 2G RFE engine rebuild. So got it all together. Everything runs. Sounds pretty good. Put water in it. I always start out with water to check if there's any leaks. Brand new AC Delco water pump. Brand new gasket. And uh, put it on dry, no seal or anything. It's a rubberized gasket. I don't have the old one around here. So I went and found another brand new gasket that we had in the kit. I bought a rebuild kit, it came with the gasket, and I bought a water pump and it came with the gasket. So, piece of metal that's got a gasket bonded to each side of it. I don't know why it's leaking, but I didn't put any sealer on it at all. Maybe I should have, but had two nice clean sealing surfaces, so I didn't think I needed to put sealer. So we'll see what happened. So I gotta look up on how to pull the water pump. Pulley doesn't come off. But damn thing, it's always something. Other than that, almost finished up with this job. Hopefully move on to the next nightmare of a job. We got to uh, detail the car for them, getting it all cleaned up. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty rough shaped vehicle. Two hundred thousand miles. Anyways, oh, yeah, get it back to back together and hopefully get it delivered and hopefully never get to see it again. That job sucks. So I'm going to venture out to say that none of these really get rebuilt. And uh, those days are gone. I'm guessing all these end up in the salvage yard over... Any engine problems, any timing issues, anything like that. I'm guessing these things end up in the salvage yard. It's a cool little SUV, but definitely not worth the trouble. I didn't charge enough for it. Customer paid way too much, more than the vehicle's worth. And I still didn't charge enough for it. So we had to have the engine out, I don't know, twice or three times, something like that. Kept having little small issues. Mainly with parts problems these days, but, um, oh man, and we got one more to do after this. I guess we'll get good at them. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.